Hey guys, once again it's Shisha here from Polygon Motion and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about a very nice way to create 3D flag background using uh, Trapcut Mirror or Mirror or anything you call it. I, I don't understand it's, it's uh, the right way to pronounce Mirror or Mirror, but I'm going to call it Mirror. Uh, plugin from trap code and uh, from from red giant trap code suite so um, uh, Let's have a look what we going to create in this tutorial. So You see a very nice uh, Flag in here that's American flag, but you can use any uh, country flag in here just drag and drop and uh, change the um, a fixture of it and you see that it has a very nice animation and it has a good lighting and it's looking very nice and uh, we can control the lighting effects by using uh, of, of the uh, After Effects lighting itself so without further ado let's get it started so I'm going to create a new composition and call it flag and 25 frames per second and all the thing is okay so one thing keep in mind if you don't have trap code a mirror pl a plugin you can download trial version of it from redgine.com so what I'm going to do in here is just create a new solid and call it flag and go to effects and presets and in trap code uh, for uh, category uh, find trap code mirror and apply it onto this solid so we have a bunch of options I'm I don't want to go in depth of them just I want to go in size and make it a little bit bigger in X and Y axis and another things that I'm going to do in is in fractal and also let me um, increase the vertex size vertex size and we have this kind of looks but you do we don't want this kind of looks we have to go to shader and change the shader from density to fong now it's completely flat don't worry we'll fix that by adding lighting into the scene and also add ambient occlusion here ambient occlusion and also uh, let me create a new light in here pint light and now you give that kind of looks so it's uh, the, the uh, amplitude and frequency in this layer is very high we have to change the frequency now uh, let me put this into third mode to see the look a little bit faster and that is cool drag your flag in here and uh, in my case I'm using American flag and just invisible this good flag and in th material in fixture sorry in fixture you have to choose the your texture in here and I'm using this uh, flag as I mentioned and in material let me change some of the things in here you can change the ambient and also fall off of this to smooth and distance and I, I think none is okay and let's create a new light in here point light to light up the scene and change the position of this light and also change the intensity of it now let's play with the valley to create a very nice look I'm going to fractal and fractal I'm going to change it like this amplitude as much as you increase these values you will get some some really uh, realistic look and also some high details and you see that we can create a normal flag without high details very low and we can create a high detail realistic one so that is good now it doesn't have any animation so for animation you have to create keyframes for ev evolution and for evolution I don't want to go to keyframe I just want to add a very nice and simple expression called time so just all click into evolution and in here I just delete this and add time multiply uh, for example 60 and as much as you increase the number you'll get a faster uh, animation now you see that it has its own animation without creating any single keyframe in here if I play this 
you will get a very nice looking and you can change anything that you want for example if you want uh, uh, another things in here just create a shape for example and put it in here and just pre-comp both of them and now it just uh, release itself you have to go to fixture and just choose your pre-comp and go to pre-comp now make it full size now you see that the effect is completely dynamic and I can go to pre my pre-comp layer and add some things and other things and it will affect in here as well so that was it a very short and straightforward tutorial about this kind of fix and hope you guys enjoy from this tutorial don't forget to check out other poly in motion tutorial on youtube and don't forget to subscribe if you didn't so my name is richie and see you guys next time